One of the great things about identifying plants from plant families and the patterns we see within the plant families are that when we come across another plant displaying very similar characteristics, if we were not to know what that plant is, we can start making assumptions in terms of where we're going to begin to look maybe in the field guides. So just now we're having a little look at a hogweed. Oh well, here's a cousin. This is the wild Angelica. So what you can already begin to appreciate with with the umbella for plants are that their leaves are mostly triangular in overall shape. They're also divided, pinnately divided, and I have other videos available discussing that and showing how we work out the pinnate divisions. So yeah, this one's wild angelica. You'll find it in and around hogweed on the riverbanks. And I uh, haven't really eaten much. The leaves are quite bitter. Um, the stems I'm a little bit interested in. This one flowers a bit later than other umbellifers, so... Maybe I'll come back to this in about July. Later on, the seeds are quite aromatic. There's that citrusy twang that we we know about from the carrots and hogweed seeds and coriander. So the seeds are quite interesting to play with. And make sure you know this plant. And make sure you know the water hemlock dropwort. And there's a video appearing of that one really soon. Because they can look superficially similar especially from, from peripheral vision. There are the new leaf shoots emerging. Looking a little bit like Alexander's with the glossy green colour. But when you start to get to know the umbellifers, they all have these slightly distinctive individual energetics, the characteristics as they emerge that set them apart. I'm off to find something else.